It didn't sound too full with <laughs> just a two piece, you know what I mean? So we got him and then we started writing some songs. And we got signed to Merva because um, of a national demo competition that we entered and yeah, we won it and did a film clip and someone from Merva Records obviously saw it and rang us up and said, do you want a recording contract? And we said, yeah, all right. Grunge was such a big thing at the time. Everyone just assumed uh, they, they like Nirvana. They're a good band and we respect what they do, but they're not an influence. We're more into traditional hard rock. But returned in 2001 to play at the world's biggest music festival, Rock in Rio. It was almost so big that it felt intimate. It was so big that you felt like you were playing for a small planet. I felt like you were the only musician in the world. Following that career highlight, Silver... If you want to make a difference in someone's life and you want to keep making music that sounds fresh, then you've got to turn your mind over and approach it from a different angle. There's a step beyond writing about pain. When you can express the pinnacle of happiness, then I think you've achieved the most artistically rewarding thing you can, so... I'm moving towards that. I literally couldn't get off the lounge. If my brother came and sat on the lounge next to me, I'd be like, I'd scream in pain because of the movement in the lounge. It was just all through my back and my arms and legs. I didn't feel like there was anywhere on my body that wasn't hurting. As soon as I've got full health, we'll definitely do a full tour of Australia and um, yeah, some shows around the universe. I'd like our band to just stay low, try and stay low, and just release some good records and not, not to, not to let too many records be released in too short a period of time, otherwise people would just get sick of us. We just want to release a few records and play some gigs and that, and just finish off school, and that's it.